What's up, YouTube? This is Dice the Dice Airsoft. Bring you guys another review video today. I've even been looking for a high end M4 that has a couple of features included with it that sets it apart from the rest of the M4 crowd. Or have you been looking to build your own custom rifle but wanting to get something that has all the stuff included? We're going to take a look at the GMP SR16 URX 3.1 golf ball version. I'm going to go over all this rifle's features, starting with the back to the front to tell you what's all included with the rifle. As with all the rest of my videos, the magazine is empty of rounds, the chamber has already been cleared, and there is no battery in the stock. Alright, starting with the rear of the rifle, we've got a 5 point adjustable crane stock that you can slide off to store the battery in the buffer tube. It comes with mini tight Dean's connectors. The top of the buffer tube is also numbered for positions and has a hole in the top of the stock. Forward of that, we have a Knight's Armand ambidextrous sling mount that uses these small QD sling points. It has one on either side, so you can mount your sling however you choose. Moving on to the receiver, ever being the stickler of trades that I am, we've got plenty of trade marks both on the right and left side of the receiver. This is very nice to see. Got a standard AR pistol grip, but it has a golf ball texturing, as does the stock. Sometimes it can be a little too rough, but if it's too rough for you, you can just take some very fine grit sandpaper and lightly sand it down until it's a little smoother. Moving below the receiver, we have an enhanced polymer trigger guard. This isn't the Magpul one, this is the GMP version. And it's very comfortable to use, makes the trigger guard a little bit larger if you're using gloves. Mounted on top of the receiver, we've got a Knight's Armament standard rear sight. But if you notice, where's the front sight? What's nice about this rifle is that it includes the Knight's Armament URX 3.1 rail system, which has a built-in folding front sight. The front sight is adjustable for elevation, and the rear sight is adjustable for windage and elevation. As mentioned before, this is the URX 3.1 rail system. It comes with two small rail segments at the front and one at the bottom, but the sides all the way to the back and along the bottom are completely smooth. This is so that you can mount modular rail panels or rail covers. It comes with two long ones, two short ones, and a hand stop section. This gives it a more unique feel and saves you from having to buy different rail panels yourself. And the outer barrel also has the golf ball patterning to it. What's nice about doing this on the outer barrel is that it also has it right here, but underneath the rail system, the whole outer barrel has this golf ball pattern. One of the nice perks about this is that since this golf ball pattern actually removes metal from the barrel, this makes this outer barrel very, very lightweight. To top off the rifle, we just have a standard M4 burn gauge flash hider. This rifle does not come with a battery and charger. It does, however, come with one GMP polymer mid-cap magazine. It holds 120 rounds, and even it has the golf ball pattern. These are very similar to the Magpul PTS P-Mags. Be warned as well that this has a very tight magwell. When you first get this rifle, your magazine will be very, very tight fitting. But that's actually a nice plus, because then you don't have a wobbly magazine. I picked up this rifle off of Toronto Airsoft. It cost me about $450. Now, so you think, holy crap, $450 for a GMP? Yeah, it's expensive, but as you can see, it has a lot of features that you would want in a custom rifle. It saves you trying to buy them separately and install them yourself. This rifle also chronos at about 390 to 400 feet per second on a 0 0.20 gram BB, and on a 7.4 20C LiPo battery, it spits them out at about 18 rounds per second which is impressive for a 400 FPS rifle on only a 7.4, which means this thing would be scary on an 11.1. I hope you guys like this review. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. As always, this is Dice at Dice Airsoft, and I'll see you guys next time.